Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Mai and Jay, and today the purpose of this video is to do the review of the THL L969 device that I got from PandaWorld.com. And I gotta say that this is a very impressive device, but to get started here from the very top, you can see we have the proximity and light sensor here on the right side. We also have a two megapixel front facing camera, the ear speaker, and the notification LED somewhere around this area on the left side. At the very bottom is where we're gonna have the menu key, the home key, and also the back key. On the left side of the device, we can see here we have no buttons whatsoever. At the very bottom, we're just gonna have the microphone. And then on the very right is where we're gonna have the volume rockers up and down together with the power button. At the very top, we're gonna have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the charging slash data port. On the back here, we're gonna have a five megapixel camera with the LED flash. We can see here the THL logo. And I'm assuming that THL stands for technology, happy life. And then here we can see the loudspeaker. Now the camera on the back is actually pretty okay, even though it's only a 5 megapixel sensor, you're going to see that very soon. Now here when we open the back, we're going to notice that this device is actually a dual SIM, dual standby device. The SIM card goes underneath, and this is designed for regular SIM size, but as you guys can see, I managed to put a micro size SIM card in here. We also have the TF card slot, and then here at the very bottom is where we're going to have the battery. We can see that it is a 2700 milliamp, and it did last it quite a long time. We can see that the overall build of the device is very solid. It has a lot of screws making it feel nice and firm on your hand. So we can see here the device is already turned on and this device is running the Android 4.4.2. It is the KitKat model and it does have one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal memory. Then here we also have the front screen. It's a five inch multi-touch screen with a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. Now, even though the resolution is a little low, it does have great vivid colors. As we can notice right here, the viewing angles are very nice on this phone. It is hard to tell here from my lights, but trust me guys, the colors are very nice and vibrant as we can notice right here. Now, when we go here to settings and we go to about device, I'm gonna show you that it is showing as Android KitKat and that's because it's actually correct. Uh, we're gonna tap here many times. We can see that first of all, it's confirming it here. If we press and hold one more time, it is showing us Android 4.4.2. And if we do it one more time, we can see that it is once again going to confirm it. So that's definitely great. Now, one of the downsides of this device is that the menu key, the home key and the back key, they do not light up. They just kind of glow in the dark. So here we can see that the operating system is actually very smooth. The device doesn't lag whatsoever. And if you go here to the Antutu test benchmark, it gave it a great score of about 18,000. I was kind of impressed by that. So here, let's just wait until it loads. And here we have the Antutu test score. You can see that it got about 18,126. And these are all the details that Antutu test gave it. So as we can see, it is quite decent. And if you go back once, we're going to confirm here on devices information. We can see that the brand is THL, the model L969. We can see the Android version 4.4.2 the MTK6582, the screen resolution, and everything as I mentioned. Now the back camera is showing as a 13 megapixel camera, but it's actually incorrect. The resolution on the back camera is gonna be a five megapixel sensor. And I'm just gonna scroll down so that you guys see the remaining of the information and whatnot. We can see here that the Android SDK is the 4.4, meaning that this is going to have the KitKat uh, operating system. And then here we can see all the sensors supported on this device. You also have this application called Android Sensor Box. If you open it, we can see all the sensors supported. We had the accelerometer, the light sensor, the orientation sensor. We had the proximity sensor, the sound sensor, magnetic sensor. And the ones not supported is the temperature sensor, the gyroscope, and also the pressure sensor. Now, I gotta say that the device for 139 that I paid, it is definitely worth it. We can see here on the very top, it is supporting currently um, H+, which is considered 4G here in the USA and also supports uh, 4G on AT&T, which again is H+, so the speed of it was actually pretty okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the browser here and test the uh, speed of it. We're gonna go ahead and reload here, let's say uh, YouTube, and right now I'm only using the 3G network on AT&T, of course. So as you can see, sometimes it loads a little faster than other times. Uh, right now, even though I'm getting H+, the browser appears to be a little bit slow, and that usually happens inside of the house. It never happens on the outside. It's actually pretty okay. This is a branded device and it's actually quite premium. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to get a lot of updates to fix these issues. So here we turn on the Wi-Fi. We can see that on the other hand, the Wi-Fi reception is very good. And when using the Wi-Fi, the network does work very well. So here we can see we had a connection problem. So let's say we reload the page and we use it on the Wi-Fi network. It's actually pretty okay. Now, another thing we're gonna go ahead and test is the camera. The camera sensor on this device is a five megapixel. So here I'm gonna go ahead and open it so that you guys see it for yourself. 
Um, it might claim to be 13 megapixels, but I already told you guys that this is not a 13 megapixel camera, but here actually it is showing as the maximum we can go is up to 12 megapixels, but this is actually going to be a five megapixel camera. Now here for the front facing camera, if you go to settings, uh, we can see and confirm that this is in fact a two megapixel front facing camera and it's actually true. So now let's go ahead and test it and let me know what you think. All right guys, this is Molly and Jay and what I got here is the camera test of the THL L969 device. And we can see that even though it's a five megapixel camera, the colors look very vivid and nice and also the autofocus works very well. So I was overall satisfied with the camera, but again, you're only gonna get a five megapixel sensor. And now we're gonna go ahead and test the front facing camera. All right, so here we have the front facing camera test on the THL L969. And as we can notice, the camera is quite decent. Uh, for a two megapixel camera, I think it's going to do its job. As we can see here, it's great for selfies, Skype, or any other social media out there. All right, so there we have it for the camera test. And as you can see, it is not disappointing whatsoever. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is test the Bluetooth. Here I have my little Bose speaker. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's put it on parry mode. Now on the device, as we know, we gotta go to settings. We go to Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's search for devices. So here we can see it has connected. Now we go back once. Let's go to audio profiles and let's test the sound. So there we can notice that the Bluetooth is working well and now we're gonna test the back speaker. Okay, so that's it for the sound. We noticed that it's actually pretty okay. It's not the best sound out there, guys. But again, according to the price of this device, it's definitely worth it. And also, I forgot to mention that this is an LTE device, but only for bands 1800 and also 2700. So for those countries who support those bands, that's definitely great. I believe it's gonna be B3 and B7. Um, unfortunately, here in the USA, we only support 1700 and also 2100. So we cannot use it as an LTE device, but for those countries who do, this is definitely a bargain phone. Now, another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is play with some applications and games here. So I'm gonna put a music in the background, make sure you guys enjoy it.
right guys, so there we saw some of the performance of the device and as we can notice, it is a great phone, it is working perfectly well and the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is test the GPS. The GPS works very well, so check the next clip and let me know what you guys think. All right guys, so here we have the THLL969 that I got from PandaWell and this is the GPS test and as we can notice, it is working perfectly well. However, I did need to root the device and also install faster GPS to help it lock a signal a little bit faster. But other than that, it is working like a charm. All right, so another thing we're gonna go ahead and do is check the call quality. Let's go ahead and dial 611. Let's put it on loudspeaker. For English, press one. Para español. Also, the proximity and light sensor is working very well. So we can see it's actually very sensitive. And the call quality on the top speaker is very good. I was able to hear people very clear and loud and they were also able to hear me very clear and loud as well. Okay, so here we have also this smart case that it came with. This device supports smart views. We can see right here, um, it just gave me this window every time I open the device and also close it. I guess it has a magnetic sensor somewhere on the top that every time I close the smart case, we can see that we get the smart view here on this little tiny screen. And it only gives you the time and it says the date and the date. So it's just gonna be for basic use. It doesn't give you the weather. That's the only downside of it. But at least it's a great little accessory to have to protect your device. Alright guys, so I think I covered everything on this phone. If you guys do have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.